Kyle, you're always fairly highly rated. Is it a surprise to you that you went as high as you did? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a nice surprise definitely after hearing your name being called, but I've always been confident in my own ability, and after the last three days, I think I showed well. So personally, I think this I belong to be here. I deserve to be here, and it's just great to have the opportunity. Most players, you get to this point, you're just happy to be drafted in the first round. Uh, what about going to Toronto, going home? Oh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit more special for me. It's a, it's a chance I can play in front of my friends and my family back home, which means a lot, so there's a lot of pride in that, and it's definitely good to be being Canadian to play for a Canadian team, for sure. Now, as a midfield player, uh, Toronto has a lot of experience there. You're going to be playing alongside the likes of Torsten Frings and Julio Cesar, uh, players you can learn from as well. It's going to be a crowded area of the park. Yeah, but, I mean, personally, it's an amazing experience. I mean, to play with a guy who's been in three World Cups, countless Champions League games like that, I can only learn. So it's a great opportunity for me. Do you think that your stock went up during the Combine uh, this year because you were uh, you were selected as the MVP? I mean, coming in, I, I, there was some talk. So, I mean, uh, it may have risen a little bit, but uh, I think it was always up there. It's going to be a busy time for you with uh, Toronto FC training camp coming up, uh, your duties with the national team as well. Talk about uh, the crazy times that are coming up. Yeah, there's a lot that's coming up, but I mean, it's part of being a professional, so I just got to deal with all that stuff and have as much fun as I can. Okay. Kyle Becker, picked by Toronto FC. Kyle, you had the interviews in Fort Lauderdale with the coaching staff. Uh, what are some of the things that they say to you? Did they ever indicate that you were part of their plan? No, I mean, they never really came out outright and said or anything like that. We had a good talk. They talked about the club and things going forward and sort of where I would fit in if, if I happened to be selected. I think it was a good talk. I felt good about it after leaving the interview. So, yeah, it was nice. And at the Combine, you scored a couple of goals. Uh, did you find yourself very comfortable playing on the team that you're playing on and also uh, just the role that they had you play? Yeah, yeah I was lucky enough. We, were, we had a great team. I mean, I was surrounded by good players, which obviously makes my job easier. I mean, when you're surrounded by good players, you know what they're going to do. It helps you uh, bring out all your qualities. And uh, I was lucky enough to be on the team that uh, really uh, did well this Combine. Now, the crowded midfield in Toronto was just mentioned a minute ago. Where do you see yourself fitting in? Well, like I said, I'm, a I'm an attacking midfielder, but I can also play as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So, I mean, I'm going in with no expectations of what i got to do. i got to work for every, uh, every minute I get. And one of the goals you scored was from a set piece. Is this uh, something that you're going to continue to work on and trying to flourish in MLS? Yeah, it's definitely something I pride myself on. I mean, I've had success in the last four years at Boston College and even coming into Boston College. I mean, I've always been good at set pieces. I like to get on the ball, whether it's just whipping them in or shooting them on frame like I did at the combat. Kyle, you talked about Sigma and how important they've been in your development and I think you said they've taught you almost everything you know, which is an incredible statement to make and shows how much they've made a development in your career. Can you talk about the kind of things that they have helped you on in, on your path? Well, I'm, Sigma, it's a very professional environment and being there, I've had the opportunity to go overseas and see firsthand what it takes to be a professional and being around the guys who are there day in and day out and uh, the guys you look up to, people like at Ajax when Wesley Snyder was there and things like that. I mean, it's it, going into training when everything's set up, but still having the, the pride to take care of everything you got to do and going in each day trying to get better and thinking, having a goal and trying to reach those goals. And uh, they've taught me a lot about that. Your development has come on leaps and bounds over even the last few weeks, mm -hmm. um, but you would probably say that you are still the same player that you were six to 12 months ago. Yeah. Have you seen any differences in your own play? Is it just down to confidence, or what have you learned during this last few weeks about yourself? Yeah, I mean, with football, a lot of it is confidence, definitely. But uh, this last season, there I had some a few injuries, which sort of held me back. But uh, I'm again, like you said, I'm not very surprised at my uh, my performance this last weekend. And who do you pride yourself on? Like, who do you watch in the modern game to, to try and get better with? About well, any an players idol. out there? An idol for me, my whole life has been Dennis Bergkamp, sort of as the number ten. But uh, I mean, uh, there's right now there's Christian yeah. Eriksen at Ajax, uh, Jack Wilshere is an amazing midfielder. I mean, if you can sort of bring any of their qualities into your game, I think you're doing something right. Those kind of players are who I would describe as being space finders, players who are really good without the ball. Is that something that you've been working on in your own game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I try and never never stop moving my feet, right. cover as much ground as possible, get in those gaps in between the lines of the defense and the midfield and create opportunities. How excited are you to share this moment with your family and obviously being from, from Oakville and, and a team that you've looked up to and trained with before? Is it just a combination of a dream for you? It's, it's a cliche, but is, it, is that really the truth? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm lucky enough to have my family here and some of my close friends here, so it's, uh, it's a nice, nice time to celebrate with them, that's for sure. Congratulations. Thank you very much. One more, uh, finally, what did uh, Kevin Payton and Fran O'Leary say to you when he came up to them? Oh, I mean, they just said congratulations. I've been one of the players they really wanted, so, I mean, it's an honor.